Jason Tyler here today with a taste test of, we've got Fit Crunch. Uh, this is the Robert Irving's uh, high protein puffs. Uh, we have barbecue and also sour cream. Yeah. Uh, we're probably just gonna do like a flip for each right. of them. So let's do um, it. Let's see here. Uh, so it's about 20 grams of protein in this, which is ridiculous. Um, I think that's absolutely insane. Um, it's got a decent amount of sodium, but of course, you know, that's that's perfectly That's really normal. anything packaged, honestly. Yeah, so I mean, like, it seems like a lot of the macros are pretty pretty high up there. Um, it's soy-free, gluten-free, non-GMO. Uh, they talk about no artificial flavors, no sugar alcohols, things like that. So, um, <clears throat> the one thing that kind of threw me off, though, is that on the back it says, um, add a bold crunch. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but edible crunch to salads, wraps, and more. So I'm uh, guessing it's something that you sprinkle on like a salad yeah, or something like that. It's and probably not for regular eating, but we're just gonna go with it. We're anyway. gonna go for it. And if you guys aren't familiar, Robert Irvine, is it Irvine? Irvine, Irving. Irving, Irvine, Irving. He's that really jacked chef that you see on Food Network. The one that has, I think, what, 29 inch biceps? That stupid vein. Yeah, right there, yeah. Like, yep. like his freaking spaghetti. Yeah, he's thing. a monster, so I mean, hey. Anyway. We're gonna give her a go. Yeah, what do you say? We got sour cream and onion and then barbecue? Barbecue. What do you Barbecue about? smells okay. Barbecue smells fun. This you is need help? embarrassing. Okay. All right. It look, I mean, it smells like sour cream and onion chips, honestly. Ah. They honestly just look like Cheetos. Like, like they seriously just look like, and they look like, um, what, what are those called? Uh, the cheese, puffs. Yeah, cheese puffs or something like that? No, 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 not cheese puffs. Um, looks like chickpeas. <laughs> look, look, looks like uh, that cereal. Tricks. Oh, um, tricks. no, or is it tricks? No, corn, no. Oh corn. my God, what is that called? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It looks just like that. Oh, what is that? I is don't it remember. Puffs or it's some sort of puff cereal. Oh, I'll probably, dude, I'll, I'll, I'll probably put it up and it just be like. What is that called? I don't know. I ate those when I was a kid. Not for you, Bubba. Crip? No. Crips? Oh, Crisps? God, I can picture it's a white Puffs. box. Yeah. Ah, uh, dude, I don't know, but, but it, it looks, looks just it looks like, like a, those. It looks like cereal, pretty much. So, mine smells pretty good. What mine smells really good. All right, it's down the hatch. I'm just oh. going for it. Honestly, honestly, really good. It literally, this tastes like stupid dry though. Really dry. It tastes literally just like That's what sour cream and onion chips <clears throat> from Lay's, except in like a ball form. If that makes sense. Yeah, I can see that. That's really good, actually. Want to flip? Let's do a little flip ski here, and then tell me what one you like better. That one's spicy. Okay. Oh. Wow. Barbecue's got a little kick there. That one's got a, a really good kick. kick. I like that one a lot. This one is like, I definitely taste, I definitely taste the sour cream more than the onion. Yeah. But it's not bad, actually. It's not bad. I think if I was gonna rate these, I would say. Kicks. Is it kicks? kicks. Is it kicks? kicks? Yeah. Kicks, dude. I would say barbecue for me, six and a half. Sour cream and onion, 7.2. Oh man, I'd go a little bit higher on the barbecue, man. No. Nope. Barbecue's really bomb. I like it a I lot. I like these, dude. But these I mean, really but, but I mean, like, I love actually like barbecue, like chips and all that. So. Yeah. I'm, I'm really surprised about this because like the last Robert Irving thing that I had tasted horrible. I had a bar. Oh, the yeah. protein bars with yeah. this. I don't like and those. And they're just straight up sugary. I was like sitting there going like, what am I eating here? Yeah. So I'm super shocked about this. Um, I, I really I enjoy really like these. It. I like these. Wanna try it? Robert, I mean, hey man, good job there. Good job on the Fit Crunch. I mean, packaging, I'm gonna give that a solid. I mean, does it catch your eye? Let's let's break it down from a marketing standpoint. Yeah, it catches your eye, and then on top of that, you can use this for a lot of other things. Like you you can use them technically as croutons for like any sort of salad or for any sort of like wrap that you're doing. Or I'll tell you what, 
you know what would make me buy this immediately if I saw this on the shelf? If you put What's Robert Irvine's bicep, just the whole thing was just his one bicep with the vein. He's, I mean, in, he's I, in like all of his other ones, so it's really surprising. I would just immediately buy it. Even if it tasted horrible, I would just continue to buy it. I mean, bold, I mean, crunchy, delicious. It is bold. I will say it's crunchy. And folks, I might even say it's delicious, okay? <laughs> so. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is our taste test for um, the Robert Irving Fitz Crunch. Uh, what did you guys think about it? Uh, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you feel like there was something missing? Uh, please put that in the comments down below. Go ahead, guys. We're open to any, any and all. Any, any and all, all questions, comments, and concerns, okay? All the things. All and, of them. And make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks, guys.